and Merry Christmas. Sorry for the slow speaking. I am not feeling well, but I wanted to provide a Christmas video for you. And what better way to do a Christmas video, in my style of course, is to play with my ride on. If you're new to the channel or you are on the channel, you know that I love to play Maridon. Maridon is absolutely my favorite deck because you don't have to really think about it. So, anyways, happy holidays to anyone that celebrates it. I really hope you have a wonderful day. And this is my gift to you. So, we're in a Charizard match right now, and they are getting lucky with the Battle VIP pass versus me. I'm just waiting for my turn and looks like they got everything set up. Hopefully we things go our way, but at least I have Path to the Peak in case things do not go my way, you know, because Charizard never, I mean, never survives on Path to the Peak. I don't necessarily remember what happens, but basically I tandem unit, I need to tandem unit well, there's one right there, and tandem unit. Where's my Maridon? Come on. Oh, no Maridon. Okay, I have to be very selective on what I pick then. So Raikou and I need a free retreater, so Zeraora will be the best bet. Then, okay, considering what I have, I have to Arvin for the generator and the seal stone. There we go. All right, hit, 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 one, that's good enough. I have the switch card in hand, go Raikou. Don't mess this up, Avatar Clash, just use the switch card from a ride on, switch to Raikou, and then Path to the Peak. There we go, and Fleet Foot for the... Okay, we're, we're cooking, then Path to the Peak. No, I don't remember. <laughs> oh man, uh, I had to get rid of the boss, but it's okay, we could live with this. Alright, prize check, we got a prize check. Oh, what have I done? Alright, Luminion, at least we'll get an Arvin back. At least that's my hope. Yeah, Luminous Sign. Yeah, there we go. We get an Arvin for next turn. Then for seal stone, and then roll path. We will just star alchemy in case they boss up Luminion. I highly doubt it. They can't really get an attack next turn anyway, especially if they don't, you know, get rid of the path to the peak. So the only thing I can really do is get the electric generator and try to get more energy on the Maridon. my prize. Oh, there you are. Of course you're right there. Okay, they can't really do anything but evolve manually to be honest. I know in these types of decks the Pidgeot is mainly for the rare candy versus Charizard is a little bit more flexible. They use they usually get a Charmeleon, so the only way they can survive without Path to the Peak is getting the Char Charmeleon. And they could technically get rid of Path to the Peak, however, they need an energy to do that. Let's hope they don't, you know, get the energy back. There we go, it's my turn. So, the only thing I could really do is hope for the best electric generator in case they knock out Raikou at some point. So, Arvin first, get the nest ball for a secondary attacker in case they get Charizard. And, yeah, let's go for the nest ball. Get Raichu. Electric Generator, please give me luck. 
Oh yeah, one is all I need. Boop. And... Boop again. Lightning Rondo. That's all she wrote. Now I'm down to four prizes. There we go. Next up, Pidgey. If they're planning to evolve to Pidgeot, joke's on them because they can't quick search for anything. So, yeah, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna Arvin for the rare candy or is it already in hand? If they rare candy Pidgeot to Pidgeot, that would be hilarious. Do they have the Lost Vacuum in hand? I think this is Azul's deck list. I'm not sure. To be honest, maybe Rotom is prized. I was wondering where Rotom is. To be honest. So... Yeah, sorry for the glitches. My recording is not that great. But I think they're going to wear candy in a Pidgeot, which is exactly what happened. And then, bada bing, bada boom, uh, they're stuck and they have to concede. Please concede. And there we go, come on now, please concede. That's all I'm asking, bro. Yeah, they took a while to make a decision. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I believe they conceded. And, yeah, they ended up conceding. Path to the Peak is awesome. And then next game is most likely going to be a Roaring Moon deck based on the deck sleeves, but you never know. Either way, they made me go first, which is not good for Maridon. And based on the mulligans, yeah, it's a Roaring Moon deck. Hopefully it's not the Turbo Roaring Moon. That's all I'm asking for. But yeah. For those who are listening to this voiceover, thank you so much for being patient with me. And really to all the subscribers on the channel, I really do appreciate anyone that's willing to take the time to either listen to my voiceover video or even just watch me battle. Or if you're here for the Pokemon uh, booster bag packaging, thank you for your awesomeness and your support I really really do love Pokemon especially after how this year was for me I would tell you guys about it but I don't want to be sad for Christmas so I'm gonna refrain from that so all I can really do is attach to a Raikou like manually but we're not punished for this if <laughs> honestly if I had a Zapdos and I was going second I would have been able to knock out Roaring Moon right there and then like it ended up so well and yeah if you're wondering why I switched to Zeralora it's it's mainly because you wanna like make sure Roaring Moon doesn't have the opportunity to take a two-prizer right away. And, anyways, let's see what they do. Ooh, Mysterious Tail, that's nice. Oh, that's an absolute whiff. Pokestop. Ooh, that's rough. The Darkrai. If you're wondering why Darkrai is useful, it's because if you evolve it to the V-Star, and for example, you get rid of a lot of Dark Patches with a Squawk and C's, you could evolve the Dark Rye into the V-Star and then use its V-Star ability to get those Dark Patches back. I've personally done it before. I believe in a future video where I do the top 5 matches of this year, but to be honest, it's really top five matches in the three months I played this game. <laughs> I believe I used Darkrai. I can't remember. But either way, 
when that video comes out, please check it out. Because I really do love showing you guys awesome videos. So, they're gonna earth and vessel, probably an energy for the sod- oh, well, it's quackability works too. So they're gonna get rid of an energy, or they're getting rid of their energies in order to use Sada's vitality to charge up Roaring Moon. But honestly, we can't risk getting everyone um, not settled. I don't know how to word it. My brain is kind of tired right now. So, basically what we want to do is try to get a supporter of some sort or Raichu to prepare for next turn with the Roaring Moon. Because Roaring Moon is going to knock out Raikou. And then I have to find out a way to get four energy onto the um, Raichu so I could knock it out in return. Anyways, let's just do that. Let's just poke a stop, hope for the best, and ooh, awesomeness right there. Dynamotor to the Raichu, or do I do the Maridon? Uh, Raichu. Sorry, y'all. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> but with the electric generators, that's the great thing about Maridon. You could just supercharge them. It, it's just so fun. Then. We will just lightning Rondo get rid of the Mew, and they will not have they won't have the opportunity to use more items. So the only way they could potentially take two prizes is if they have a Sada's Vitality and an extra Dark Energy in the hand. Honestly, I don't know how many Energy a Roaring Moon deck typically plays. However, this deck clearly discard a lot of energy anyway so there is a high chance that they're not going to be able to attack with the warring moon next turn and the fact that they promoted this squawk ability it kind of says a lot but either way we're gonna figure something out even if they do knock out the raiku i have raichu i'll just knock them right back it, it's fine it, it's fine But I keep on forgetting to put Zapdos back in the deck because another way to not discard energy and still get the knockout on the Roaring Moon is if I just put the Zapdos in the deck. I always forget to do that. Sorry for the glitches. Again, I don't know why it's doing that. But I think what happened was they did charge it up, and I think they're going to retreat it, do Calamity Storm on my Raikou, but... Oh, they ended up not doing it. I guess they really had no opportunity to retreat the Squawk, and then I got the two prizes. I don't know why... I mean, this is really a good matchup that I did. It's just glitching. And I really do apologize for that. I mean, they took a while to decide as well. Like, for some reason, this opponent in particular could not make decisions in an appropriate amount of time. So, either way, based on everything, I have game. Like, there's no doubt I have game. Because they got rid of their Dark Patches. They don't have their Dark Cry V-Star. And the fact that they got rid of two Dark Patches with that Squawk and Seas. Um, yeah, not fun for them. It's really not fun for them. Uh, yeah, aside from the glitching, my opponent was pretty slow. It is kind of difficult. I understand you have to be very careful whether you frenzy gouging or do the calamity storm. With my deck it's easy to calamity storm because I don't use bravery charms 
my tools are the four seal stone, the elemental badge for the Jolteon, and the future booster capsules because I know people want to take advantage of, um, sorry, Iron Hands retreat cost. Like, they want to take advantage of that. And if I'm going to be very frank with y'all, there's only so much you can do with the, what do I want to call it? There's only so much you can do with the switch cart, so why not just add a future booster capsule and make your life so much easier? Anyways, Dynamotor to Raikou, and then, honestly, I really just want to make sure all the electric energies are, you know, like, electric generator as much as possible because I know it's going to be knocked out next turn by the roaring moon with energy and the only way I could really um, win this game is if they don't boss up my Raikou but with roaring moons they typically don't play boss at least in what I see but what the plan is is to just knock out the dynamic spark with um, the energies from the two Pokemon. And then, game plan it is to just let the Roaring Moon knock out my Raichu. And then, use the four Seal Stone ability on the Raikou just to boss up the Luminion. Like, literally, that's it. That's all I need to do. But I don't know if the opponent will catch on or not. I don't think they did. I don't think they caught on. But they just used Sada's Vitality even if they, you know, did catch on. They would not be able to win the game. Either way. Because even if they bossed up Raikou, I could find some way to just charge up the Raichu anyway by putting one of my free retreaters up front and even if they didn't have the stadium and they just frenzy gouging my Raikou I could literally be not I want I don't want to say petty it's more cheesy and just put zero or and I get game either way I win <laughs> like literally so all I really need to do now is my game plan get the zero aura but just to make sure that everything goes to plan yep we evolved Jolteon anyway I mean why not right we'll get the Jolteon set up just for funsies I mean it doesn't like her to have a little fun in the process then Fleetfoot maybe I'll get the boss from the draw I don't yeah, that didn't work, so start alchemy for the boss. There it is. Boss up Lumenion for game. Bada bing, bada boom. Sorry, opponent. There you go. Boom. And then that is how you do it. Like, that's just how you do it. Like, they let me do all that. Like, they let me have fun and just knock out Luminion in no time and then Lightning Rondo. <laughs> like, yeah, I BM'd them. I'm sorry about that opponent, but I mean, you never know what could happen. I had game regardless, to be honest. Like, I could have knocked you out with Iron Hands, but anyways, next match. Ooh, okay. So we put Zero Aura down. And I don't know what this deck is. Like this next opponent. Okay, Mew. This is Mew. And the fact that they started off with the Genesect says a lot. 
And it's kind of a good thing they're going first. Because what I could do is one hit KO the Genesec if I'm able to. Then, and uh, the thing about Mew is that their game plan is really, really easy. It really is. So, what I do first is Nest Ball. Hopefully, I'm smart enough to prize check. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm smart enough. Anyways, let's see. We gotta get the Maraid on. There we go. I only have one, so I need to be careful. Then tandem unit. For some other basics, we definitely need a marine down. And of course, Raikou's prize. So Raichu it is. Alright, generator, please don't fail me. Oh wait. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I prolonging stuff? Oh, right, 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 right. The Luminion so I could, you know, research. That's right. See? It, like, your girl has a brain, y'all. <laughs> your girl has a brain. Anyways, research. Now, electric generator. Oh, come on. But that's the thing with my ride on, it's a high stakes deck. Then attach. Good thing I got research. Let's go. Ooh, that's decent. We That's where the future booster capsule comes in. Because with the future booster capsule, you could have free retreat. And I know for a fact, as soon as I saw the full retreat cost. As I said earlier, they're gonna boss it up. So you need that free retreat. I know people prefer the aw oh man my pass. No. But yeah, I know people prefer the bravery charm, but honestly for me I prefer the future booster capsule because there's only so many ways to switch with your cards like this. For me, I think my deck has three switch, regular switches, and it definitely has like three or four switch cards. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste it on like s stuff that could be healed, that are not really damaged and all, and just need a retreat like. No, that's not my style, so that's why I put the future booster capsule in the deck. Anyways, Fog Crystal for the Meletta. That's fine. Meletta's down. They're just gonna do that fusion strike system, and it's interesting how they do the ventral punches, but. M but with that, that's fine because with this, I'm a, I'm trying not I'm not trying to knock out Mew. I'm really not. The thing to knock out is Genesec then Path because without Genesec, there's no draw power, and ye okay, good, good because I had a feeling if it was Heads, they would go for the switch. So this is fine. We're we're chilling. We're good, right? I think we're good. Come on, please don't be heads. Don't be heads. I, oof. I mean, they're gonna get a switch, right? I mean, it's the only thing to do. Because what they can do is switch to the Mew with energy. I can't remember what it does. I don't use Mew. I've never used Mew. But, yeah, all I could really do is just Arvin, hope for the generators giving me some energy, and the Force Seal Stone, because why not? 
yeah, I don't remember what I did this game. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I'm tired, y'all. Your girl has a brain, but <laughs> it's just tired right now, y'all. Then, yeah. Another generator, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Your girl is cooking, y'all. Attach. Just retreat to the Maridon. Do the four seal stone. And I can't remember, did I get past? The ideal thing is to get past so they don't, you know, constantly draw. Oh, wait, why did I get the Flaffy? Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What did I, why did I do that? Oh, Dynamotor, but still, y'all. I promise your girl has a brain. Okay, let's see what I have. Okay, three generators are used. Get the pal pad back. I should have pal padded, then research, then use the forest seal stone to research for the next turn. Because there was a low chance they were gonna disrupt my hand. But yeah, the that's all I got. And after thinking about it a bit, I am kind of grateful I did make the play because when you think about- why did they do that? Why did they attach the uh, new VMAX? Anyways, when I think about it, especially since they don't disrupt my hand, I could literally just Dynamotor to Iron Hands, Boss Up Meloetta, then Bada Bing Bada Boom, we're good. Like, we are chilling at that point. And then let's just say, even if I did, even if I, like, messed up, ooh, Mimikyu, but even if I did get Mimikyu, I could literally just Electric Generator to Zero Aura, and then that would be game. But they scoop anyway, I guess. Anyways, I think this is the last game of the day, I can't remember. But I'm going first, and that's not ideal for my ride on. But if you made it this far, please comment my ride on gang. I really do appreciate anyone that watches all the way through. So if you watch this far, please comment my ride on gang. And even if you're not a my ride on player, just comment Merry Christmas. Like I really do appreciate anyone that comments on my videos. So. Bada boom, bada boom, it's my turn, and thank you for that nest ball. Because, literally, just get my ride on. When in doubt, get my ride on. And I have no idea what I'm facing, so that's another thing. You have to be pretty cautious about what you put down. And of course, Raikou's prized, but that doesn't matter because I know they can't really attack me. So, right you and that. There we go. That's the ideal turn one, I think. But we have the generator. Ooh, not punish. We are not punished. Let's go. That's why I love this deck. And since they're doing basics anyway, um that means I could literally just amp you very much next turn. <laughs> oh, I am so cooking with the deck. I am cooking. So, at least my game plan as to what I remember from the match is go Arvin. And then... Just get that future booster capsule because... Again, you need to save the switch energies, like, because with Maridon's attack, you can't attack next turn, and that's why I use switch cart. Sure, you could do beach court, but, um, when you could switch for free, that's always a good thing. And with beach court, 
when they evolve the Flaffy, oh, the Iona will be great. Yay. Like, I literally had the perfect hand for next turn. But that's okay, I get Orbit anyway. And some... More cards. Sorry for the glitches. I don't control it. So, yeah, they are just going to let me amp them very much, I guess, because their prize is in the front. Literally. <laughs> like, no matter what they do, I get a prize. Except for Rotom, but... They're not gonna let me attack them and then just amp you very much for three prizes. No, that's not how it works. So they'll just battle VIP again and get the other Bouncely and the Vanillish. So it's practically reliant on the rare candies. Eh, I personally prefer the other build, even though I'm bad with the other build, to be honest. I tried Serena, but it just never worked out for me. So, yeah, we are going to just electric generator and get the future booster capsule. Or Ultra Ball for the Flaffy, maybe. Okay, switch card. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Getting switch card is because, like, Serena's gonna attack something. It's gonna use Icicle Soul on something. Whether it's Iron Hands. Um, Raichu, things like that. Either way, we're gonna amp you very much and worry about Serena later. And who knows, maybe they will brick. Either way, I have full control of this game. I know I have full control. I could literally pass to the peak and Rotom could not uh, use instant charge anymore. And, yeah, so, if they brick, they brick, and then I just literally amp you very much for the next two prizes. And, as you can see, I still have my V-Star power, so I could literally just boss up something and retreat to Maridon, even if they do Serena me. Like, either way, I have like at least four outs to win this game. So, yeah. I think it's a game set match at this point. It's just them prolonging the inevitable, if I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, they literally take forever to make a decision because I noticed my opponents taking forever to decide so what I'm just gonna do is not waste anyone's time and I think I passed I can't remember but yeah so prepare Raichu and get the other energy on the Maridon do I pass them I don't remember if I did to be honest Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pass them. No. Why, d why did I not pass them again, y'all? Like, why did I not let them pass? <laughs> I mean, why did I let them have their ability? Like, am I dominating? Yes. But I should have passed them. Like, I literally have game no matter what they do. I, I literally do. And all they could really do is Icicle Soul something. But even if they did, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I would still win because of the Forest Seal Stone. Like, they can't one-shot me with anything. I don't even think the Vanillix could one-shot me, but I know Serena is heavily, I mean heavily reliant on the... Well, the Icicle Soul ability. So, I don't think Vanillix attacks. I think it's just like a panic mask for everything. 
Okay, they passed it to peak themselves. That's fine to me. I don't really need an ability. <laughs> like, I should have passed it to peak them first. <laughs> like, how do I word it? It affects them more than it affects me. <laughs> so, yeah, they just get bounce sweet from the prizes doesn't really do anything. Again, I have game in hand no matter what they do. So I'm just going to go for the boss no matter what. Okay, I could see why they did write you, but little do they know that's not my plan. I could literally just star alchemy for the boss for game. Then Use the boss to literally get the vanilla shore, the bounce lead. I could even do the barbaro if I wanted, but it's just easier and more satisfying than bossing up the Rotom and using Maridon. Either way, I get two prizes, and it's so much more satisfying to use Iron Hands. Anyways, that's it for now, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.